and the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great, for he is strong that executed his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? That came up, man, and they spoke mighty in the spirit. And we're going to keep on going on with this word and this truth in this last days, man, because our people are heavily gone out here, man. Like, I don't know what's going on. I thought I thought Virginia was the state for lovers, man. Right. All love, man. But all I see is madness and hatred, man. Right. Right. What's going on out here? Let me get Deuteronomy 28, 28 real quick. Let me get um, Leviticus 19 and 7. Like, I don't know what's going on with our people out here. Everybody talking to themselves, having their own conversation. They don't want to come over and hear the word in these last days, man. Our people are spiritually dead, and they don't want to wake up in these last days and rise up in the righteousness, and rise up in the power, man. Read what you got, King. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. Here we go. The Lord shall smite thee. With madness. You shall smite thee with madness? The Lord, Lord shall smite thee with madness. Hey, your power, your power has smitten you with madness, Richmond, Virginia. Right. I thought this was the state for lovers, man. All I see is hatred amongst our people. Read it again, King. Deuteronomy 28, 28. Uh -huh. The Lord shall smite thee. With madness. Hey, sister with the pink shirt on and the pink hat, you have been smitten with madness in these last days. Right. And your power is calling you back. Your power is calling you back, sister. Read it again. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. And the Lord have smitten you with madness, sister. It's time to come back. Read what you got, King. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt not do what? Hate thy brother in thy heart. And that's all we do is we come out here to show love. The opposite of hatred is love, man. Right, but this right. was supposed to be the state for love, man. Why isn't there no love in this state? Why is there the only hatred in this state of Virginia, man? We come out here to show our people truth and love in these last days, man. And telling you your law, statutes, and commandments, telling you that you come from the nation of Israel, that you are not wicked niggas in the face of this kingdom, man. Read right. what you got? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. That's what we come out here to do. We come out here to rebuke our brothers and our sisters that's out here walking in darkness right now. We come out here to show you the spiritual light that you should be walking in in these last days. Read what you got? This is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time. Read it again. And that knowing the time. We come out here to show and tell Richmond, Virginia, that now you should know what time you're in. When you look around the face of the earth, when you look at the news, when you look at all of the destruction that's going on, when you look at the people lost, robbed, and spoiled that refuse to come back to their nationality, read it, brother. That now it is high time. You come out here to tell Richmond, Virginia, on this day that it is high time for you to do what? To awake out of sleep. Nah, brother, I don't want to know who I am in these last days, brother. To awake out of sleep. Nah, brother, I'm ashamed to be the 12 tribes of Israel, brother. To awake out of sleep. And now is that time for you to awake out of sleep. That's right. Of Israel, Richmond, Virginia, this is your day, man. That's right. What are we doing out here? Right. Y'all have hatred for one another, and we come out here to give you the light. Read. So now it's our salvation. Nearer than we believe it. Hey, look, man, your deliverance is at hand, man. Your power is coming to save you in these last days. But you don't even want to know who you are, man. I just watched our people sit over at the bus stop for hours and do nothing. Hey, while the brothers is bringing out the word in these last days, man. Nobody came over here to ask a question. Don't nobody want to know who they are, man. Y'all just want to smoke cigarettes at the bus stop and stay dead, man. The Lord ain't dealing with you, man. The Lord ain't dealing with you on that day of destruction. He gonna put you to death, man. Read what you got, King. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 52, verse 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength. Oh, Zion. We come out here to tell our children of Israel to awake, O oh, Zion, and put on your strength. Read. Put on that beautiful garment. Put on what? That beautiful garment. Hey, brother, you got to pull your pants up in these last days, brother. Right. You got to put fringes on your clothes in these last days, brother. You got to come back and know who your power is in these last days, brother. That's you right. are from the nation of Israel, brother. Right. You are not a wicked nigga no more, brother. Right. Now it's time for you to go up your loins like a man, brother, and put fringes on your clothes, man. Read. Oh, 
Jerusalem! Oh, who? Oh, Jerusalem! Oh, Jerusalem, brother. You come from Jerusalem. You don't come from this wicked country, man. Read. The holy city, to its fuck, you shall no more come into thee, the uncircumcised. And we trying to tell y'all to come out of your uncircumcised hearts and minds in these last days, man. We telling y'all to raise yourself up in these last days, man. And put on your strength. Put on these law statutes and commandments that the brothers are teaching out here on the streets of, of Richmond, man. Read. And the unclean, shoot thyself from the dust. Hey, you got to shake yourself from the dust, brother. You right here, right now. You got to shake yourself from the dust. Hey, right. brother, come here, brother. Hey, put that cigarette out, man. Right Throw that cigarette out, man. Oh, praise you. Get that brother in here, man. That's what we come out here to do on these last days, man. We came out here to raise our people up out of the dust, man. Out of the sleep, man, that they came from, man. You on this way, brother. That's how you get Deuteronomy. So what you got, brother? Uh, <clears throat> Romans 3 it out, and 16. Bring it up. Destruction and misery are in their ways. Hey, what, brother? Destruction and misery are in their ways. Hey, destruction and misery is in your ways because you have forgotten your power in these last days, man. Right. And now it's time for you to come back. The Lord is calling you, brother, out of that madness in your mind, brother. Read. Hey, the way of peace. Have they not known? Y'all don't know the way of peace and enrichment, man. That's all it is is bloodshed out here in this state, man. That's all it is is hatred. That's all it is is gang violence, man. Y'all brothers, y'all don't got no love for your women out here. Right. Our women are walking by here dressed like harlots. Y'all don't even care to save them, man. But the men of the Lord are coming out in these last days to raise our people up, man. You come from the nation of Israel, man. Right. Tell you the game. And they, so in the way of peace, have not... They not know. And you don't know the way of peace, man, because your peace has been taken away from you. Your heavenly father has brought you low and raised the nations above you in these last days, man. But you know what? He's going to deliver you, brother. He's going to bring you up out of that foul spirit that you in, brother. Read it. Verse 18. Uh -huh. There is no fear of your hollow. Before their eyes. There is no fear of your howl before these people's eyes, man. That's why our people say, you know what? When we tell the brothers and the sisters, hey, you got to stop eating that swine, man. You got to stop defiling your temple, man. You got to stop smoking these cigarettes, man. Our people don't have the what? There is no fear. Y'all don't have fear for your howl, your power, who put you in this low condition in these last days, man. Right. Our people don't even consider who we are or why we're destroyed as a nation. Hey, sister, you got time to hear the word of the Lord? You and your child right there, sister. Can I ask you a question real quick, sister, before you go? Read. There is no fear of Yahweh before their eyes. Hey, brother, don't get hit for that, man. Yeah. Uh, Verse 19. Hey, all praises, man. You see that? Hey, that's the spirit. That's the spirit that the Lord put on our people, man. That brother just chased the sister's uh, chair bag in the street, man. And that's the elder man right there, man. He went out there quick, man. You know what I mean? He got that thing, man. All praise to that early father, man, for the brother. Hey, brother, get, a, get another water, brother. Got to get another water or uh, Gatorade or something, brother. Huh? All praise due to Allah, brother. All praise is due to who? Allah. Who is that, brother? True and living God, brother. The true and living God. Hey, do you know? All right, man, Allah just means God, brother. You know that? Right. Huh? We are here serving Yahweh, man. That's, That's right. your power, brother. Okay? Allah just means God. And the root word of that came from the Hebrew, man. Okay. All right? That's all that is, brother. Right. Just and means God, me, brother. Enlighten me, bro. All right? Well, I'm enlightening you right now, brother. Now you know your God. His name is Yahweh, brother. Right, okay? Bro. Hey, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 58 real quick, brother. Right, let me show you something real quick, brother. Matter of fact, go to 15. All right, go to uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15 real quick. Just come in real quick, brother. All right, let me show you, man. Why are we in this condition we're in, brother? Read it, brother. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Hey, brother, you over there. You too, brother. Y'all come over and hear this word these last days. Come on and build with me, brother. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read it. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass. When Moses is bringing this out, read. If thou wilt not... Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And that's what's going on with our people, man. Our people do not want to hear the voice of their Lord in these last days. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. And that's why we come out here to tell you that it's time to come back and serve your power and do all his commandments. Read. And his statutes. And his statutes. Which I command. Do this day. And Moses was commanding us back then when we came out of Egypt, brother. Now we're in spiritual Egypt, read. 
that all these curses, that all these what? All these curses. I thought this was talking about blessings, brother, but what? All these curses. All these curses that fell upon our people in these last days. We shall come upon thee. Uh huh. Hey, overtake thee. And we have been overtaken by these curses, brother. That's why you're in this low condition. That's where we're over here in this land of America, man, serving our captivity, brother, because we're under curses. Read. Verse 16. Uh huh. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Hey, are we cursed in the city of Richmond, brother? Yes, sir. Are we cursed in the city of Richmond, brother? Yes, What's your nationality, brother? Black. You're black, brother. See, that's a curse right there. Read. Okay. Hey, cursed shall thou be in the field. Hey, cursed shall you be in the field, man. We was cursed in the sugar cane fields. We was cursed in the tobacco fields. We was cursed in the cotton fields. Read. Right. Verse 17. Uh -huh. Cursed shall thou the basket in thy store. Huh? Curse or what? Curse shall thy basket and thy store. And curse shall our basket and our store, man. You ever wonder why these NFL players is broke so quick? You ever right. wonder why these NBA players can't hold no money, man? Right. They all going broke, brother. Bankruptcy, man. Losing their houses. How does somebody making millions of dollars end up broke, man? Read that again. Verse 17. Curse shall I be thy basket and thy store. And that's why they're cursed. That's why they're bankrupt in these last days, brother. Bring what you got. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 36. Jehovah shall bring thee in thy king, which thou shalt sit over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And that's what happened to us, brother, because you come from the tribe of Judah, and you're a king, brother. Right. You come from the king tribe. That's so the right. Bible is telling you right now that our people and our kings came over here to serve a people that we knew not in this land, brother. Read. And then shalt thou serve other gods. And then they should do what? Serve other gods. What is our law? Serve other gods. What is our law? Serve other, other gods. We? Wood and stone. And that's your, that's your Islam and Christianity, brother. Right. And our people have been serving over here is Islam and Christianity, brother. Right. Now it's time to come on this side and learn who you truly are in these last days. Right. We? Right. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. You know. Therefore, shall they serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall sin against thee. Do you ever wonder why this so-called white man who is Esau in the Bible is reigning over our people in these last days? Have y'all ever wondered why they reign over us? as a nation when you are greater than they are? Have you ever looked at this thing in the mirror, brother? Huh? Read. In hunger and in thirst. In hunger and thirst, brother. That's why you're out here starving because you gotta go to your enemy to get what you need to know is your body. Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. Our brother don't have a shirt on. It's probably hot out here. But if he was to go and get a shirt, he would have to go and get it from his oppressor. He would have to go get it from Esau. Read. Right. And in what? Of all things. Hey, man, if I want to go and get my driver's license, if I want to go and get a marriage certificate, if I want to get the hell out of this captivity and I got to go to another country, I got to go to what? And he shall one of all things. Of what of all things? And that's that one of all things, man. This this devil is ruling over us in the one of all things. We can't even freely leave this place if we wanted to, man. Right, we? And he shall put a yoke of iron. When you look at the captivity of our people over here in the land of America and all over the world where you know that people have served captivity and slavery, he had put a yoke of iron on our necks. What? Upon thy neck uh -huh. until he have destroyed thee. And that's why you destroyed not knowing who you are in these last days, brother. That's why you destroyed not knowing who your God is in these last days, brother. But now you got the opportunity to come over here with your brothers and build in righteousness, man. Right. All right, we got brothers that's going to be setting up camp right here. You understand? In the future to come, man. You got to be out here on the side of them, man. Right. All right, you got to gird yourself up in these last days, that's brother. Right. All right, you got to put on your fringes, man. If you need help, you got to get with brothers and start keeping the commandments in these last days. Yeah. Man. Right. Read, brother. Read what you got, kid. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 58. Bring it out. If thou will not observe to do all the words of this law. And that's what we telling you, man, that you got to observe to do all of the words of this law. Read. That are written in this book. Uh -huh. That thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name. Now we got 
gotta that we gotta do what, brother? We gotta fear this glorious name, man. All right, y'all brothers and sisters out here in Richmond, Virginia, you gonna learn this name today, man. Let's read it again, brother. That there, man, fear this glorious and fearful name. Uh huh. to fear your power, your power in these last days, brother. That's right. Three. Your power, that power. That's right. Read what you got, King. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out, King. And the Most High shall bring thee into Egypt again. He shall do what? Bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And that's what we telling you, brother. Hey, brother, what people came into captivity with ships, brother? Do you know? Captivity. Yeah, who went into captivity on ships, brother? Slaves. Do you know? Slaves? What slaves, brother? Nubian slaves. What Nubian slaves, brother? What Nubian slaves? Yeah. Brother? From the continent of Africa. From the continent of Africa? That's where we come from, brother? That's where my tribe came from. Who's your tribe, brother? Judah. Judah? Yeah, hey, Judah. let me get Galatians 4 26 real quick. Bring it on. Let me show you something, brother. Let me show you something, brother. All right? Wake them up. Hey, y'all brothers and sisters, man, y'all got to come over here this truth in these last days, man. Or perish with this nation that's bound to be destroyed in these last days, man. Okay? You ain't going to get this opportunity much longer, man, to walk by it and smile at this word, man. Right. All right? Read what you got. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. Bring it out. That's Jerusalem. What? That's Jerusalem. Africa, brother. That's Jerusalem. That's Jerusalem, brother. Which is above free! And which is above is free. Your land is free and it's calling you home in these last days, brother. Hey. Read. Which is the mother of us all! Now, I thought Africa was the motherland, brother. Which is the mother of us all! Hey, Jerusalem is the motherland, brother. And that is the mother of us all. According to thus save your house, brother. Right. Verse 27. Come. Bring, bring what you got. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 8. And they're dead bodies. And they're what? And they're dead, dead bodies. bodies. You know, you look at our people out here. Our people living, brother. Our people are dead, brother. Right. Eh? Shall lie in the stream of the great city. And we talking about this great city, Babylon, right here, that's bound to be destroyed, man. We, which spiritually is called Sodom. What spiritually is called what? Sodom. What spiritually is called Sodom, brother. Pay attention. In Egypt. In Egypt, brother. This land is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, brother. And you got to come out of it. Let me get Revelation 18. Read. Where also our Lord was crucified. And when you look at that image right there, that dead image of Cesar Borgia right there, man. That wicked bastard right there, man. Okay? They crucified our Lord for that image right there, man. All right? And we telling you that your... Your Messiah is the same complexion as you, brother. That's right. Hey, you got to come back. You said you was from the tribe of Judah, right? Exactly. That's right, man. So you know that, brother. Now you got to know what you need to do in these last days. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. Bring it out. And I heard another voice from heaven. And you hearing another voice from heaven right now, brother. The angels are speaking to us, and we're delivering the message right here on the street of Richmond right now, brother. Hey. Read it again, brother. And I heard another voice from heaven. And that voice you hear right now, brother, saying what? Saying, come out of her, my people. Saying what to the uh, city of Richmond? Come out of her, my people. Hey, come out of the ways of Babylon the Great, man. Right. Come back and serve your power. You come from the nation of Israel, and your land is calling you back in these last days. Read. That we be not partakers of her sins. We trying to tell y'all not don't become partakers of her sins, man. Forget this wicked kingdom. Forget this wicked nation, man. Don't perish with it. Read. Hey, that they receive not of her plagues. Man, we don't want you to receive none of these plagues that are coming to this kingdom, man, in these last days. Now it's time for you to arise out of your sleep. Black man and black woman, Hispanic man and Hispanic woman, Native man and Native woman. Now it's time to rise up, man. Your power is calling you back. Read. Verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven. Her sins are reaching up into heaven, man. Right. That's how much the Lord got to bring this damn wicked place down, man. Right. For her sins is reaching up into heaven, man. The Lord is tired of smelling this damn kingdom, man. Right. And Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. Hey, I 
God remember that iniquities, man, because they put his children, his blessed children in captivity. They took everything away from us, man. Okay? Read what you got, King. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. Bring it out. And now, Israel. And now, Israel. Now that you know you're Israel, you come from the tribe of Judah, brother. Read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? Hey, brother, what's your nationality, brother? Do you know what the Lord is requiring of you in these last days, brother? Yes, sir. You know? Hey, come over here and feel with us, brother. Here. Read. Come here. But you fear the Lord thy God. But you do what? But you fear the Lord thy God. Hey, you got to come back and learn to fear the Lord your God, man. Read. To walk in all his ways and to love him. And to do what? And to love him. Hey, you got to know how to love the Lord in these last days, man. You got to know how to love your power in these last days, man. And the only way you can show that you love him is by keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, man. That's right. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord. Now to laugh at the commandments of the Lord. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To keep walking by the commandments of the Lord and acting like it don't matter, brother. We all have for no reason, brother. That's right. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord. We come out here to tell y'all it's time to keep the commandments of the Lord in these That's last right. days, man. Right. It's time to wake out of sleep in these last days, man. Read. And his statues which I command thee this day uh -huh. for thy good. For thy what? For, for thy good. good. I thought that said for thy evil, brother. For, for thy good. good. It's time to do this for your good, Israel. That's right. That's right. Because you are a people that's robbed and spoiled, right. man. You got a precept? Are you looking? Go ahead. Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the Lord thy God. That's right. The earth also with all that therein is. All right, we're going to keep on going with this thing, man, because our people got to understand that you are still a slave in this land, man. You're not free. Right. Just because you can walk up and down this street, man, that don't mean nothing to the most high, man. He's going to put y'all to death. Read. Right. 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 the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Hi, right, brother. Are we free right here in Richmond, Virginia, brother? We are yet this day. Captivity. We come out here to tell y'all right here in Richmond, Virginia, man, that y'all are in captivity That's this right. day, man. You're not free. Hey, brother, are you free with that bracelet on, brother? La. Read. <laughs> well, thy has scattered us for a reproach. Hey, I know you. Hey, the people don't like that, man. Everything is a joke to our people, man. Right. Until that day, man, when they put you to death, right? Right. right? And a curse. And a what? And a curse. And that's a curse, brother. That's a curse to have that on your ankle, brother. Right. And you don't know who you are in these last days. Right. Everything ain't funny, man. Read. Hey, to be subject to payment. And that's where we are. We are subject under payments in this captivity, man. Right. And our people don't even want to wake hey. up, man. We want to stay slaves, man. Right. We want to stay getting locked up, man. Right. We want to stay on the bottom, man. Right. We According to all the iniquities of our fathers. And we here because of our fathers, man. And you don't even want to know your fathers, man. Right. You don't even want to know why you're a slave, man. You don't even want to know why you're in this condition, man. Read what you got, King. This is the book of Limitations, chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes and shit fail for our vain health. And as for us, man, our eyes have yet failed. Y'all love this wicked-ass kingdom, man. Right. Y'all depend on this wicked-ass kingdom, man. Read. And you are watching, we have watched for a nation that cannot save us. What is America? A nation that cannot save us. What is Babylon the Greek? A nation that cannot save us. Hey, this nation ain't gonna save you, man. That's right. Only your how your power gonna save you Bring in these last days, man. It's time to wake up, man. Read. They hurt our steps. They do what? Right. They hurt our steps. And we telling you your steps are haunted. Every time you go outside, every time my sisters walk the streets, your steps are haunted. Read. That we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our what? Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled. Our what? Our days are fulfilled. Hey, brother, your days is about to be fulfilled in this captivity, brother. Right. But you don't even want to know who you are, man. Right. You want to keep on groping that noonday, brother. Yeah. Read. For our end is come. 
Well, what? Oh, hey, it's good. And we telling you, man, that our captivity is almost over, man. But everybody not going to be delivered on that day, man. All right, some of y'all got to burn with this wicked-ass kingdom, man. All right, because you don't even want to know who you are, man. Read. Our, pers our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. And they what? Are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. We telling you, that's all you've been is praying in this wicked kingdom, man. But you don't want to come out of her, man. You want to stay in here, man. Y'all want to be Lot's wife, man. Right. A lot of y'all want to be Lot's wife and be destroyed on that day, man. Yeah, I got to do it to him, brother. Read. This is the book of First Kings. Chapter 8, verse 37. Yet, yeah, if they shall bethink themselves. Yeah, if they should do right. Bethink themselves. Let me come out here to tell Rich River, Virginia, on this day, that you got to bethink yourself, man. Now you got to build yourself up in these last days before destruction hit this place, man. If y'all don't see what's going on in the earth today, man, y'all are really dead, man. Three. And the land, whether they were carried captives. And we telling y'all, man, this land of America that carried you captive, okay, you got to bethink yourself. Now you got to come back and know that you're a child of God. Oh. Knowing that you come from the children of Israel, man. Oh. Right. Knowing that you could be one of these 12 tribes right here, man. Right. Knowing that you got to keep these law, statutes, and commandments, man. Read. And repent. And do what? And, and repent. repent. And we telling y'all that it now it's time to repent, man. You got to repent, brother. Read. Hey, make supplication. And you got to make supplication to the Most High, man. Read. Unto thee and the land of them that carried them captives. And that's what we doing here, man. That's why you see the brothers that come out here and the sisters that come out here, man. We are repenting in this land of captivity, man. Read. Read. Say it. We have sinned. Say we have done what? We have sinned. Nah, we're not committing sins, brother. I can keep eating pork. We have sinned. I can keep smoking cigarettes. We, we have sinned. I can keep laying down with sister after sister after sister. We, we have sinned. Uh -huh. And have done perversely. And we did what? Perversely. 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 We have done wickedly in this nation, man. We, we have committed wickedness. We have done what? Committed wickedness. That's why we come out here to tell y'all, man, that y'all are committing wickedness to your power, Bro. whose name is Yahweh. Read. Hey, so return unto thee. Wait, we got to do what, right, brother? Return unto thee. Now we got to stay wicked. Return unto thee. Read. With all the heart. Hey. With all their soul. And we telling you on this day here in Richmond, Virginia, that you got to return to your power with all your heart and with all your soul, man. Read. Right. In the land of their enemies. In this land of our enemies, man, in Babylon the Great, man, where Esau, the so-called white man, is ruling over you, man. Right. The so-called Arabs are ruling over you, man. Bring it Read. Out. Which led them away. Captain. And we was led away captives, man. That's why we here now. And that's why the Lord got to raise up mighty men in these last days to come out here and speak this truth. We uh, and pray unto thee. And we got to pray unto the Lord and do what? Towards our land. Towards our land, man. You got to pray when you pray. You got to pray towards your land to the east, brother. We uh, which thou gave unto their fathers. Because that land was given unto our fathers, brother. We the city which thou hast chosen. Uh-huh. And that city is Jerusalem, brother. We and the house which I have built for thy name. And he built that for his name, man. Right. Read what you got, brother. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 56, verse 4. In the most high, I will praise his word. In the most high, I will put my trust. And what? In the most high, I have put my trust. And we telling y'all, man, we have praised the most high's word. That's why we come out here in these last days, man. That's why we are in Richmond, Virginia, man. That's why we are in Raleigh, North Carolina, man. That's why we are in Washington, D.C., man. That's why we are all over the world in these last days, man. Read. I will not fear the flesh to do unto me. Fear what the flesh can do unto us, man. That's right. We don't care what none of these nations can do unto us, man. We. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. Uh huh. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps. Right, and that's what y'all do, man. When we come out here and you walking in darkness and you walking in sleep, when you ain't got your high and your power protecting you, you are being hunted, hunted in these last days, man. We wait. We may wait for my soul. When they do what? Wait for my soul. Hey, you know how they waiting for your soul, brother? When they not telling you who you are in these last days. When they not telling you who to come back to in these last days, man. When they telling you to serve our law. When they telling you to worship a rock. When they telling you to serve the wood. When they telling you to stay in Christianity, brother. That's how they hunting and keeping your soul, brother. Right. Read what you got. 
Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 40. Read it out, sir. Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 40. Bring it out, sir. Bring it out, King. If they shall confess their iniquity. If you should do what? Confess their iniquity. Hey, and we telling y'all right here in Richmond, Virginia, that you have to confess your iniquity, man. That you have to turn away from all manner of wickedness that y'all have done in this wretched land, man. Read. Right. And the iniquity of their fathers. Hey, we got to confess the iniquity of our fathers, man, to the point why we are in this captivity that we're in today. Read. Which they trespass. Which they trespass against me because the, our fathers have trespassed against the most high and that's why he had to put his children in slavery read oh, right. and that also they have walked contrary unto me and we have walked and we have walked contrary unto the most high man we do the opposite the most high tell us to keep the commandments but now nah, we love we love being wicked man right. we know how to be wicked more than anybody on the face of this earth man right. read and that I also have walked contrary unto them. And the most I walk contrary unto us, man. He not dealing with us in these last days, man. Read. And have, and have brought them into the land of their enemies. And that's where you are right now, man. You are in Richmond, Virginia, man. You are in the land of your enemies, man. That's this right. is not your homeland, man. This is not your rest. That's right. You understand, Read. If then the uncircumcision hearts Uncircumcised hearts. Uncircumcised hearts. That's right, brother. Be humble. Uh huh. And they did accept of their punishment. And we got to accept of our punishments in these last days, man. We got to come back and understand that the Lord has punished us and He put us low. That don't mean that you cursed the Most High because He destroyed your wicked ass, man. Right. You deserve to be destroyed, man. That's right. Read. Of their iniquities. Uh huh. Verse 42. Read. Then will I remember my covenant. And he's going to remember his covenant when you come back and you start to serve him in righteousness in these last days, man. Read. With Jacob. With who? With Jacob. With Jacob, your father Israel. Read. Right. And also my covenant with Isaac. And also with his, with his covenant Isaac, your other father, man. Read. And also my covenant with Abraham. And also the covenant that he made with Abraham, your other father, That's man. Right. Who y'all don't care about in these last days. Read. He's gonna remember that thing, man. Let's save your heart. Read what you got, King. And I will remember the land. And I will do what? Remember the land. And I will remember the land, man. The Most High is gonna remember our land, and He's gonna bring us there, man. Okay, but we gotta do His work first, man. Read. Right. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter fourteen, verse thirty. Bring it out. And receive the law of life. Which they kept not. And we did what? Kept not. And we received the law of life, man. If y'all would have kept the law, statutes, and commandments of your heavenly father, y'all at that bus stop across the street at the sound of my voice, if y'all would have kept your heavenly father's law, statutes, and commandments for life, not for death, man. Right. Y'all are dead here in Richmond, Virginia. Read. Which she also have transgressed after them. Read. They must have learned in the land of Zion, buddy. Among you by lot. Uh -huh, read. But your fathers and ye yourselves have done unrighteousness. And we and our fathers in ourselves have done unrighteousness. Okay, I sister. Know, I believe uh, what's the word, sister? Come tell me the word real quick, sister. Come tell me your nationality, sister. Uh -huh. Read. Yeah. And have not kept the ways which the highest commanded you. Because the highest gave you law, statutes, and commandments to keep in these last days, man. But you don't want to do them, man. Read. And for as much as he is a righteous judge, uh -huh. he took from you in time the thing that he had given you. Hey, what's going on, sister? How you doing? Uh, how you doing? Hey, let me ask you a question real quick, sister. What's your nationality? Christian. You a what, sister? Christian. So Christian is a nationality, sister? I thought that was a religion. Oh, oh my bad, nationality. Yeah. I don't understand. I'm That's fine, sister. You know what? That's why we out here, man. That's See, that? this is why we come out here, man. Okay? Your nationality is what nation you come from, sister. Oh. What nation do you come from? Africa. You come from Africa, sister? What part of Africa you come from? Um, South. From South Africa? No, I take that. I'm going to be real. Um, my nation is where I stand. is um, my African, Black, American. And I come from the United States. 
All right, sister, come over here real quick. All right, look on this sign right here, sister. All right, you see that sign? I want you to look at it real good, sister, okay? All right, what happened, what happened to your ancestors, sister? I get it. Okay, now, now, get this, sister. What happened to our ancestors, sister? What happened to us here? Why are we here in Richmond, Virginia, sister? Are we here because we just decided to take a cruise ship? No. Did we take a plane over here, sister? Jesus brought us here. Who? Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out, King. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. I'm trying to tell you right now, this day, sister, that you are from Israel. That's okay. right. Read. On this side, Jordan and the wilderness. Right, because when we was in the wilderness, when the Lord, uh, when Moses led us out of Egypt, do you remember that story, sister? Yes. Okay. We was, give, we was given law, statutes, and commandments to keep. That's you understand right. that, sister? And when we broke those law, statutes, and commandments, that's why you're in slavery. Read what you got, King. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out, King. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. You are a holy people, a set apart people. You are separate from every nation. Okay, read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. And your Lord chose you to be a special people, sister. Do you understand that? Yes. Not to be wicked, sister. Yes. Okay? Do you understand why our people are lost in these last days? Huh? Yes, yes. You do? Uh -huh. Alright, read. To be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Unto him what? Unto himself. Hey, the Lord chose you to be a special people unto himself, read. Above all people. Above what? All oh, people. Hey, sister, the nation of Israel is above all people, sister. That's right. Read. They are upon the face of the earth. Above, above everybody that's upon the face of the earth, sister. But why are we low? Why are we in this condition, sister? Do you know? No. Huh? Was your ancestor slaves? No. It wasn't? No, it was. I'm going to be honest. It was, though, but I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, it was, though. My granddaddy knew it all. My granddaddy knew it. Read, read what you got, King. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 11. For the son of man, for the, what? For the son of man, I'm telling you that that son of man is Yahawashai, okay? The right. Messiah, who they call Jesus Christ. Do you believe in that? Yes. Do you believe in that man? Yes. Read. It's come to save that which was lost. Do you agree that you are a lost sister right now? Because you don't know your nationality, sister. So that would mean you are lost. Where's your land yeah, at, right sister? Now I ain't going to even promote it. I'm mean, lost. Hey, listen, that's right. That's right, sister. Say I it again. I'm coming for help. Say it again, I sister. Am lost. You are lost. That's right. But what did, what's Christ going to do? Read that. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said, uh -huh. I am not sent. What the what? I am not sent. Uh -huh. But unto the lost sheep. Unto who? Unto the lost sheep uh -huh. of the house of Israel. Hey, your Messiah is calling you back in these last days, and he's telling you to build yourself up, sister. That's right. Okay, you got a flyer right there. You Going got to come tomorrow. back. Huh? Going to church tomorrow. Nah, sister. Uh -huh. You can't go to church tomorrow. Let me get Exodus 28 real quick. Oh, man, hey, you can't go to church tomorrow, sister. Okay? What day are you supposed to keep holy, sister? I got to tell you that, sister. Every day. Please. Every day? Okay, what about this day, sister? This day. What you know about this day right here, sister? What's this day called, sister? This day is called... Read what you got, brother. Watch this. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 28. Bring it out. 20, verse 20. It's a lot. Remember the Sabbath day. You're right. Remember, Remember the, the Sabbath, Sabbath day. day. Do you know about the Sabbath day, sister? Uh, you don't. Help. I'm helping you right now, sister, okay? What is Sunday? It's the Lord day. Sunday's the Lord day. Read it again. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Listen, Bring sister, it Sunday is the first day of the week, okay? Read. Remember the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day. Day is the seventh day of the week, sister. Read, which is Saturday. Read to keep it holy. That's why the Lord had to tell you to remember it because He knew you would forget it. 
And he told you you got to keep it holy. You understand that, sister? So now you got to keep it holy. Now you got to keep this day holy, sister. You can't keep Sunday holy, man. Because you know what? The same, the same pastor that's in the church telling you to come to church on Sunday, after that, he's feeding you pork. Right? Huh? He is, right? You eat pork? Hey, now and then, sister. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let me get the law on that real quick for the sister. Exodus 11. I mean, Leviticus 11. Bring out your precept, king. Watch this, sister. It's the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 48. Bring it out. How be it? How be it? The most high. That the most high, sister, pay attention for your church tomorrow. Dwell not in temples made with hands. Your most high, who you. Do you say you serving? He don't dwell in those temples, in those death houses, right. okay, made with hands. Right. Because they all they doing is keeping oh, our people man. dead. They're not telling you your nationality, sister. Right. Okay, we have a church right now. Right. You understand that? You out here Amen. right now in the spiritual Amen. church right now. Right. Read. I got to go in a minute, though. Come, bring it out. This is right, the book of Leviticus, chapter right. 11, verse 2. Now, read it. Now, go to, go to 5 real quick for verse this. Verse 5. And... The Connie, because seven, verse seven, and the swine, and the what, and the swine, hey, sister, what is swine? I can't remember, man. Something just happened to me for real. God bless you. I'm gonna come back and go join our church. Sister, 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 swine is pork, okay? Right. All right, so come here real quick, sister. Don't walk up. Don't walk up. Let me give you this law, okay, so you don't go off beforehand this day, and the Lord put you to death for that pork. You understand? Right. Read. And the swine, though he divided the hook, uh -huh. and he cloven footed, uh -huh. yet he cheweth not the cud. I ain't going to break this down too heavy to your sister because I know you don't really have that great of understanding. But listen at this part right here. What did the Lord say? He is unclean to you. Do you understand that, sister? Yes. Okay, what did he say? He's unclean to you. It's what? Unclean to you. So the swine is unclean to you, sister. So when you leave this day, don't eat that swine no more, sister, okay? Right. Or the Lord is going to punish you for that. Right. Do you understand that? Okay. Do you want to be punished by the Lord? Do you want to be punished by the Lord, sister? No, sir. All right? No, sir. Okay, you see that? That's why some of our people are in these conditions right here. Right. Because the church are not, keep, are not teaching them no to keep the pork. Lord's statutes and commandments. It's bigger than no more pork, sister. Right. No All right? Pork. I just gave you one for you for right now. Oh Look at the flyer, sister, and come back and serve your power in these last days, okay? Yep. All right, we love you, sister. Oh, That's why we come out here, all right? Oh, all right, sister. Thank what you told me? Uh, 66. All right, all right, that's cool. Don't even worry about that. All right, let me get the book of Acts chapter. Uh, let me get uh, Psalms 19 and 7. Because that's what we are here to do. We are here to just teach our people and wake them up, you know what I mean, and let them know that they got to come back to their power in these last days, man. Uh, What you got, Ken? Mr. Book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of Jehovah is perfect, converting the soul. And that's what we are here to tell y'all in these last days, that the, that the law of Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul, man. And with that, that's my time, okay? I'm going to close out, and I'm going to say death to America. Death and to I'm going to uphold the Most High's name and power in these last days and say, call hello Yahweh. Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, come Yahshua, come Yahshua.